Hey everybody, welcome back, Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna begin a pretty big project. We're gonna be replacing three windows in a horse trailer. This is an Exus horse trailer. I believe it's a year 2000 model. We bought it brand new. And over the years, the windows have just taken a beating. And so they've got some problems. You can't buy them, so you're gonna have to rebuild them yourself. We're gonna take you on that journey with us. Let me show you the trailer, show you what the problems are, and we'll get started. So here's the trailer. It's an aluminum trailer. Three horse slant with a dressing room up front. The Exus all aluminum trailer. And what do we got here? The SS30 model, I guess. And it's it's actually in pretty good shape. You know, for as old as it is, it's certainly hauled a lot of horses. But let me show you what's going on. Okay. We've already removed one of the windows. And, you know, you get a horse and it starts pawing at these things. Come in this side. Here's a perfect example. You can see that's just all torn up. That window has bars that go over it and the bars have been ripped out of it. What you're dealing with is a series of RV window parts that build the whole assembly. You can't buy, just go out and buy a, an assembly for it. You're going to have to build your own, as I said. Here's what it's actually supposed to look like. This one's relatively still intact. You can open the window, shut the window. You can drop the outside and leave the bars up. Or you can swing the bars all the way down. What's happened is, over the time, this has kind of come apart. Water's gotten in here. What you've got really is just plywood underneath that white. So there's plywood cut and sandwiched in between there. The water's got in there and it's expanded the plywood. So now the window won't go back together and they're not shutting, they're not operating properly. So all of these just need to be rebuilt. The skins on the outside, the aluminum skin and a lot of the parts are still in good shape. It's the plywood on the inside that's so swollen up in there that it doesn't allow the whole assembly to, to go back together and be the right size to close and function. So my hope is we'll be able to tear these things apart and rebuild them. Yes, we'll probably have to buy some parts, but I'm hopeful that that, that inside glass like that, that's just a RV window. I should be able to buy an insert and uh, go from there. So we'll see once we, first things first, got to get them all out. You can see we took one of them out already, fortunately, and we've taken the screws out of the bottom one. You can see how there's some, you need a, a T25 Torx bit to get those screws out. They're all just self-tapping. Here's your screws, self-tapping screws hex head on it or Torx 25. So going around taking all of the screws out then you've got silicone and we're just cutting the silicone and popping them out. We're going to leave the inside inserts in there. There's no reason to take those parts out. We've got all of the screws out and Laura's going to go ahead and take the knife and just work behind and cut that carefully cut the silicone without scratching the aluminum. Okay, it should come. Got it. So we just got that out of there. You can see there's some 
butyl tape on there that was underneath the molding and then it just screws in you can see the screw holes here yep here we go so uh, laura's gonna go ahead and work at getting that stuff off of there and clean that up some and we'll be back and we'll get that one out so we're on to the last window laura's just going around and pulling out the screws most of them come right out once in a while they get stubborn let's look at the windows here's the front center that's the rear window you can see i've got it upside down so the white is down and i'm going to go ahead and disassemble this one first so you can see the weather stripping there. This is all one piece, or it's two pieces. You can see it's joined right here. I went ahead and drilled out one of the rivets. There's another, there's several more rivets. Here's another rivet right here. So this had a rivet just like that. I drilled that out. I've gone ahead and started pulling some of the screws out. Come around the back here, you can see that. So you just got to work your way around. Now you can see the rivets. Here's a rivet. There's another rivet back here. I'll pop those. I'm going to drill those out. And once I pull all the screws out, that back half ought to separate and come out from around the window. So I got the hinge out. You can see the holes right along there where the hinges were. And we went ahead and set that down right there. So there's your hinges. So that disassembled away from there. So makes it a lot easier to come back over here and now get this disassembled so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish pulling I've got to drill those rivets out and then those should pop off of there the sides so we've got all of the screws out of it it really should come apart let's see if we can get the back yeah, here comes the back Get the weather stripping pulled off of there. Again, this is in two pieces. So you can see, come in down here, can you see? Look how rotten that is. Powder. That's where the problems are. Okay, we got both sides off now. And I went ahead and dropped this out of there too, just a couple of four, four bolts. So now, in order to get this out, come back over here you can see we got size t20s all the way around and once those come out the window will pop out and the skins will come free okay last one Silicone. So, I'll be back in a few minutes after I score the silicone from around here. Should come apart. Things come up. Here we go. It should be close. Okay. Let's take a look at what we've got here. 
looks like a two by four on the outside two by two on the bottom styrofoam in the center boxed out for the lock Let's do a walk through the parts. There's the window. That's that window right there. Left side is the actual window. Right side is the inner trim kit for it. That fits inside of the white, which is over here. That's the exterior. That's the interior where you see the box cut out. Obviously, that's where the handle is. Handle is right down there. Then, the complete inside of that is right over there. Once you sandwich those two together, with that in between it, that goes on one side. And there's the exterior frame of it all. It drops down. It'll become more clear in a later episode, but for this particular episode of who knows how many parts this will be, certainly a couple, we've got one taken apart, and now we start looking at where we can buy parts, or for the broken parts, how we repair them. So I hope you appreciate the... Uh, the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe so you'll be able to get notification when we do the next video in this project. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.